Yo guys, welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to show you guys a new tactic in FIFA 23 Ultimate Team. It's going to be a 4 triple 2 tactic. It's going to be an attacking tactic. It's going to be a dominating tactic. Uh, you have no time on the ball to your opponent, if that makes sense. But before I get into that, I want to ask you guys to like this video and subscribe down below if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it if you do it because it's free and it really shows me that you guys are loving these videos and are loving the tactics and the other videos that I bring out, of course. Um... But yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into this video. All right, guys, as you guys can see here, uh, this is the tactic. It's uh, 4 triple 2. Um, let's go to the tactics. Uh, so defensive style, press after possession loss. Uh, I do this on all my tactics, really, because uh, you could also do constant pressure. But I think it's just too consuming of stamina. And that's why I've gone with press after possession loss, because they do it for almost like six, six seven, eight seconds. Uh, they press after they lose the ball and uh yeah they press high up the pitch because the depth is on 65 put the depth on 65 so you're always high on the pitch and it basically gives the opponent no room uh to attack whatsoever so um or get out of the press anyway with 45 uh i've gone with that because i want them to be compact when pressing and uh when we are attacking like when we are on defense like when we're attacking and we need to defend i want this to be narrow uh to each other uh, to just close the gaps in between so that they can't play inside and they stay on the outside for the build-up play go with long ball uh, the team will make runs for long balls into space behind the opposing back line or up to the target man strikers who are fast with a good attacking positioning attribute are the best at this tactic explains itself uh, it just pushes your players to run in behind which I want because I've got fast strikers fast left and right winger and uh, yeah, chance creation and forward runs. This tactic pushes players forward deep into attacking areas. But if you lose possession of the ball, you could find yourself open to a counter attack. Uh, also speaks for itself. Uh, as I said, I, uh, in combination with long ball, it uh, pushes them in behind. And with forward runs, they go earlier, uh, more forward. Uh, like they go earlier, more deeper, if that makes sense. So uh, yeah. With 45 on attack, because as I said, I want us to be narrow. I want it to be quick one, two football. And uh, when we get into the, 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 the final third, I want us to make a run in behind and um, do a over the top or do a true ball. It doesn't really matter. But uh, yeah, that's why. Players in box, I've gone with seven. You would say it's a really bit over the, over the top, but with the instructions that I have on the players, it would really make sense because I've got one center mid unbalanced with a high attack and work rate. So he goes up in the box as well. Uh, together with as you guys can see on the screen here your right winger has got the ball tries to cross it four players in the box which is your center mid two strikers and your left winger same for the other side your right winger and same same guys so it's uh like you 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 can't be uh short in attack that's uh, all i can say and also as i always say is corners and free cakes is personal preference i put free just to keep it a little bit balanced a little bit over maybe but still still good for the instructions, I've gone with one striker, stay central, get in behind, and stay forward. For the other one, I have got stay central, false nine, come back on defense. So what I would advise you guys to do is, like, as you guys can see from me, Marcus Rashford is the one that gets in behind and stay forward. Uh, and stay central. Uh, why I have gone with Marcus Rashford there? Because he's really fast. Uh, and, uh, and uh, yeah, I, I find him my, how do you say that, my primary finisher. So I would put your primary finisher who's really good at finishing of course uh there with the getting behind and for your more dribbling like less finishing uh, mark rushford is still really good at dribbling he's got five star skills that's not the issue but Luis diaz is not my main finisher he still misses quite some chances but he's really good at passing and dribbling so that's why i've got stay central false nine come back on defense on him doesn't really come back on defense but like drops a little bit in into midfield uh, which allows uh, either my marks lorente or pedri or anthony go into that gap so it's really like, uh, how do you say that? Confusing your opponent into thinking like, where's Luis Diaz? Oh, where's Anthony now? Where's Pedri now? Where's uh, Marcos Lorente now? So they swap positions in uh, in the pitch. Uh, for your right and left winger, both the same. Get into the box for cross. That's the only thing because, as I said, uh, they need to come in back, back sticks uh, for that extra man to be the extra pass, to be the finishers. And uh, yeah, normally I don't play, play Pedri there. But uh, I've just put him there because I sold my whole team, uh, basically. Uh, CDMs, uh, you need to have one attacking DM who can still be really good at defending. Uh, defending. 
and one like main holding dm which is for me Cassier. he's always there cut passing lays stay back while attacking cover center for your more defensive one and for your one that also goes up uh, balanced but still cut passing lanes and cover center left back right back both on um, stay back while attacking center backs nothing also stay back while attacking goalkeeper nothing and uh yeah that was it for the tactic guys all right guys that was it for the tactic hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below if you haven't already and uh as i said in the beginning guys i hope you guys uh would really want to subscribe it's free and it really motivates me and it just shows me that you guys are liking the videos and liking the tactics and also make sure to let me know in the comments down below what you think of the tactic and how it done for you or what you would change if that makes sense but uh yeah uh as i said again hope you guys enjoyed and uh, as I always say, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. We would help each other if you just hit subscribe, yeah. Also press that like if you think I'm alright, yeah. Just subscribe, yeah. If you want a cookie, subscribe.